One in ten colleagues will leave their job as a result of menopause symptoms. One in four will consider leaving their job. So it's really important that we provide the most helpful support to our colleagues to keep them well, happy in work during their menopause journey. It's always a, a great pleasure to work with Louise, um, but I really noticed probably six months into um, us working together that she was finding her extremely challenging and complex role even more challenging because she was beginning to suffer with um, some menopause symptoms. The sweats, the, the, especially the night sweats, the um, anxiety, um, the not sleeping, not feeling like um, myself. I felt really, really anxious. I felt that in a way I was going mad, I suppose. I felt like I was in a bit of a black hole really. Um, I was trying to be a mum, I was trying to be a ward sister, I was trying to do my master's degree and with the symptoms that I was having as well I just felt like I was going um, deeper and deeper into this hole to the point where I once felt like I needed to give something up and I was looking at um, giving my master's up. My husband was on nights and going as, as I went and sat on the bed and woke him up and said I can't do it anymore I just I can't do it anymore um, and he said that obviously if he you know he supported me with whatever I wanted to do I mean obviously I didn't give give it up um, and, and I passed but it was very very difficult I just felt like I'd really lost my identity I went on holiday had a break and uh, came back to work discussed it with my, my manager as well about how I was feeling she did um, approach me to say that she was not sleeping so well, feeling unusually anxious, um, lacking confidence in her ability, um, and also really doubting her performance. None of those were actually outwardly noticeable. Um, I recognised that we needed to just sit down and have a chat about it and find out what um, her, her main issues are. I'm not doing it as, as a, a medical professional, um, but as her friend and colleague and somebody that cared about her and wanted her to feel better about herself and, and more able and feeling more capable to do her job. She felt that she couldn't continue with her master's degree, which she'd worked so hard on. I made even more sure that she had that protected time to give herself some uh, downtime from work. I saw the uh, menopause conference and I'm very, very fortunate to work within women's health and um, had a chance conversation really with um, the, the lead, Sonia, Sonia Reese, who um, you know, went through everything with me. So I started on um, my patches. Probably within a few months, I started to feel like myself again. Um, people were starting to notice I was back to being how I, I used to be. I felt more in control of, of my life. I felt more in control of, you know, things at work. I felt with all my knowledge in women's health, I would just, you know, sail through it. But actually living through it is totally different to what you think it's going to be. I don't think at work I would have got through without the help of my team, my, my matron and, and others as well because you know we, we just get each other through it. We talked about reasonable adjustments um, within her working environment. She was struggling with aches and pains so we made sure that um, she had an appropriate and up-to-date workplace assessment. Um, that we, could, we got her the biggest fan that we could find to help manage her hot sweats and we also talked about uniform changes. My manager, uh, Catherine, I don't think I could have got through it without her, to be fair. You know, and, and sometimes it's not about having those great big conversations, it's about, you know, she would come onto the ward and she'd be like, are you all right? Is there anything I can do for you? What can I do for you to make it easier? A message really for other line managers. We're not asking any of you to be experts in menopause, but we want you to acknowledge that there are perhaps some reasonable adjustments that you can make. We absolutely need to consider the fact that many people suffer from brain fog. People forget things, they may need to make lists, they may be suffering with um, hot flashes, they may be having really um, difficult time with heavy um, bleeding. It's really important to get them to open up uh, and talk about if they feel able to. Encourage them to go and see the GP. Encourage them to use the resources that are available here at the Trust. The take a pause um, sessions, 
all the wonderful wellbeing team that we've got are all there to support. I'd really like to thank the colleague for sharing their story. With their honest and open sharing, we can actually support more colleagues going through this. There is so much support out there. Um, within the Trust, we've got our wellbeing email address that people can contact us on. We have a take a pause peer support session that people can join where those that are going through the menopause get together and support each other. We can also offer training. In addition to that, we have a fabulous guidance document that is now published and available on the internet and recently updated too. Uh, we hope you find these resources useful um, and please do give us a call if you need anything else as support as a manager supporting someone else uh, or as a colleague yourself going through this. Thank you.